What's up, you guys? This is Pac-Man Jake with some breaking news. The Packers have signed offensive tackle Jared Valdir. And for those of you don't, that don't know very much about Valdir, he was actually drafted in the same year as our starting right tackle, Brian Balaga. He was one of the guys that I was looking for the Packers to draft. But fortunately, Brian Balaga, who was projected to go much higher in the first round, dropped to us with the 21st overall pick, and we stole him. So, to give you guys a little bit more of an idea who Valdir is, he was taken in the second round, I believe, by the Oakland Raiders back in, the 20, back in 2010, and has spent a few years there. Then went over to the Arizona Cardinals, played a few years there, a few years uh, there in the desert before kind of bouncing around a little bit on a couple different teams one of them being the Denver Broncos and the New England Patriots, meaning this year, and for some odd reason, Valdir apparently decided to retire, and the New England Patriots obviously put him on the reserved retired list, and then just yesterday, it turns out that that uh, Valdir decided to unretire, and then the Patriots uh, released him, and... That is why Valdir has been, was available to sign, and we just picked him right up. Not long after, he decided to re he decided to unretire. So this was definitely a, a steal for sure. I like Jared Valdir. I think he's been a pretty average offensive tackle throughout his career. Maybe there were some there were some of these years where he just didn't really quite perform. Obviously, he only had a one year deal with the Denver Broncos and. I don't know. It, it didn't probably didn't really. I think I think things just didn't bode very well for him in Denver, and things didn't really go very well in New England either. As he just decided to just retire, call it call it a career. But I really like this signing here. Jared Valdir would definitely be uh, a good option to replace Brian for the next up, upcoming weeks if he were to be out for for an extended period of time longer than longer than a, a week or two uh, we know that he definitely he definitely has a knee sprain i don't know the grade on his knee i'm it's looking like it's not that not that not that big of a of an injury so i think we should be able to see him play in the next upcoming weeks if he doesn't go against the giants i'm pretty sure we will be able to see him come back versus the redskins and I'm pretty sure that it's definitely very possible if he doesn't come back with the Reds by the by the Redskins game, I think we will see him against the Bears. And I think having him play against Chicago fully healthy will be crucial as the Chicago Bears still have still have a really solid defense, even though they're missing Pro Bowl defense event Akeem Hicks. But they still have Roy Robertson Harris and they still have Khalil Mack, who will definitely wreak havoc on whoever our backup offensive tackle is, whether it be Valdir or Alex Light. And there was some talk of Billy Turner possibly sliding over from right guard over to right tackle, but that was just some conjecture. I think uh, I think the I think the answer for this has been solved. Uh, Turner will stay at right guard, and it's going to be either going to be Alex Light or Valdir going forward. Uh, for this upcoming game against the New York Giants on Sunday, so we're going to see either one of those guys. It, I think it'll probably be Alex Light because it'll take some some time, some time for Valdir to get up to speed. He will just be like a backup option probably. With all that said, I really like this move. Very good move by Brian Goodkins in the front office. Leave your thoughts in the comments about this signing, and I'll catch you guys later for. Sunday's game against the New York Giants, a bounce-back game. Go Pack Go!